Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective, I'm Ryan Shrout. Today we are here to talk to you about the Radeon RX 580 again. Now when AMD launched this video card, they talked to us a lot about, you know, that it wasn't an upgrade to the 400 series, and they were very adamant about that, and so it wasn't labeled a rebrand by us or most other people. Uh, but they did talk about the continued existence of this upgraded user, or this user that needs to upgrade. Uh, more than 80% of the gamers on Steam based on AMD's numbers, are using Radeon R9 380X class or older graphics cards. And in the year 2016, only 10% of those people actually upgraded. And that's a little surprising to me as with the release of the RX 400 series and AM, uh, the NVIDIA 10 series, like there were a lot of good video cards out there, uh, but there's still a huge amount of people that are running on fairly old graphics cards. And that's really the target that AMD had for the RX 580. Now, um, they, they had some claims throughout their presentation about uh, how much of this performance was able to increase. When you say you went from an R9 380 to an RX 580, um, you know, you could jump from 43 to over 60 frames per second in Battlefield 1. You go from 41 in For Honor to well over 60 frames per second in that game as well, uh, at 2560 by 1440. So, Prey just came out this week. We decided we'd run it through the gamut of tests and kind of see if AMD's uh, stance made sense, right? So we compared our Radeon RX 580 that we have here against a Radeon R9 380 that we had to dig up and dust off for this test. And then we also compared it to the GeForce GTX 960. Um, these are the R9 380 and the GTX 960 are older cards. You're talking about two, two plus years old. Uh, they launched in the 219 to 199 price range. The RX 580 uh, starts at 199, starts at 239 for the 8 gigabyte model. So we're within uh, a reasonable window of cost, depending on which model of the RX 580 you get. Uh, but we just basically did a, a pretty straightforward test. We took the new Prairie game, which is Pretty great. If you're a fan of like System Shock, you're really going to like uh, Prey. And um, this gave me an excuse to play through a lot of it, trying to find a benchmark location for for science, if you will. Uh, and we just basically did testing at 2560 by 1440 at the very high image quality preset. And the results are very straightforward. Uh, we ran it through our frame rating test methodology. Uh, we found no uh, variability, frame variance, stutter, judder, any of that kind of stuff showed up in any of the video cards, really. Uh, but the frame rates were dramatically higher. The RX 580 ran at 69.7 frames per second on average, while the R9 380 was 39 frames per second, and the GTX 960 was 43. That's a difference of 74%. This card is 74% faster than the R9 380 and 60% faster than the GTX 960. Now, I know a lot of people that are watching this video and, and reading that story on PCPro.com are using those video cards. You are a significant portion of that 80% of people on Steam users. And so AMD's claim here is, hey, if you're going to upgrade, most of you aren't going to spend five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on video cards, but two to two fifty is a very reasonable price point for a long-term upgrade. And this is what you get. You can get a Radeon RX 580 that kind of addresses that very neatly. And that was AMD's stance all along with the RX 580. They knew they weren't competing against 1080s and 1080 Ti and Titan Xs. They were competing for that mainstream dollar and wanted to prove that it could do 2560 by 1440 gaming above 60 frames per second and made a fantastic upgrade option. And that's pretty much all this video is about, right? Uh, AMD told us that, hey, we think you'll find these results. Uh, please go look at it, and we did. Uh, and it's, it seems like a, a, a good time to upgrade. If you're, if you're, I feel like we're at one of those inflection points where uh, when, I remember back in the day when we had the, the 7800 cards from NVIDIA and there was this inflection point as we got to the 4s and 5s and 600 cards. I think we're at that again uh, as we go from the 900 series cards from NVIDIA and the 300 series, 200, 300 series cards from AMD. Those people are now two, three years old uh, in terms of graphics cards. RX 580 is a great option for that going forward. Check out the full story over at PCPro.com if you want to see a little bit more on the benchmarks and details there. Otherwise, we have links to Amazon listings for the RX 580 in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.